Hello everyone, and welcome to this uh, dungeon editor tutorial for Legend of Grimrock 2. Uh, if you've been following the previous tutorials, uh, this is where we left off, and what we're going to talk about in this tutorial is uh, the coordinates and the coordinates of uh, the level and uh, what that basically means and how that gets implemented into the minimap. Uh, so let's just get right to it. Uh, this is the, the floor that we have been creating and we have uh, two levels uh, within our project and uh, the the order of the levels uh, what we are used to from Legends of Grimrock 1 is that uh, they simply go in order so this would be lower and if I would create another one uh, this is the order of the levels uh, that that is that isn't isn't the case anymore. Uh, what matters now is what coordinates I give to a specific level, and that basically tells the game where that level is placed uh, within the game. So let's take a closer look at that. Uh, I'm gonna delete this one I created here. So I have these two levels. I have this one. Uh, we, sit, we sit at zero, zero, zero. That's the coordinates of this level. And I have this one. And this one simply has the Z of 1. Uh, that means this is uh, one level lower than this one, directly beneath it. So this is what we are used to from the first game. Uh, let's stop the preview and play this again. Uh, because I want to show you the minimap. So this is the minimap, and if I if I walk around here, uh, the minimap will of course get drawn. Uh, the level below me is one below me, so uh, I need to visit that in order to be able to show you. So I'm gonna fall down and break everybody's feet. Uh, let's go back to the minimap. Let's walk around here so it will start drawing it, and you can see now that. I'm I'm on a level that's one one level below the starting level. So if I click the arrow up, I will get get back to the to the area where I came from. And I, if I click the arrow down, I will go down to the level which I'm at now. Uh, this also means that I can place uh, I can place levels anywhere here, you know, and you will <laughs> you will pretty much see that uh, we are talking huge and, and we can get lost in <laughs> all this craziness and, and if, you, if you lose yourself just simply click this button here and we will go back to where the party is at. But this is the X uh, axis, this is the Y axis up, up and down and then we have the Z axis which is basically below or above us. So when we create, uh, when we create levels uh, for our dungeon, when we create new new levels, we need to place them correctly. And every level you create, if you if, like like I just did now, I just created a new level. It starts with the coordinates of zero zero zero. Uh, if I play this, and if I go to the minimap, nothing gets drawn, and that's that's because I have two levels that have the same coordinates. And the game doesn't really know which level he's supposed to draw. So every level needs to have its own coordinates. And that means that if I put this to uh, X1, uh, I will have moved this to the right of the first one. And you will, let's just rename these so you can, you know, this is the start one. So this one is down, down from start really, and this one is to the right. So if I draw something to the map here, we are drawing this, just let's do this like this. And just to be quick about it, I'm going to create a teleport here, 
right in front of the body and I'm going to set target location of the terror port here so as you can see if I go into the we are now drawing here and I'm gonna I'm gonna walk walk some about walk about this so you will get some map drawn and then I will go into the terror port and now I'm into the next room and you s can see I was here and I got placed to the right of of the of the starting area so this one is to the right and of course if we are gonna create a new level and let's call it left minus one to the left if we go back to the start let's put another teleporter here let's have it to the left so I can know where I'm going set the target uh, to the left and let's create some room here around us like this so if I go into the left teleport I will jump here to the left onto this map now you can see I've jumped to the left uh, you can pretty much see that uh, this level this whole level here is pretty much uh, this sheet of paper so every sheet of paper on the minimap represents uh, one level of the dungeon and uh, we can go directly uh, from one you know level on to the next we can walk between them but uh, we, al we will always need some kind of uh, level transition and let's go into that for now let's go back to the starting area and I'm gonna create this corridor that goes to the left area and I'm simply going to walk into this corridor and show you what happens when I go to the edge of the map it simply ends and there's nothing I can do so if, if we go to the medium map you can see I walked all the way here and I'm now at, at the the edge of the map uh, where this level ends and this one begins uh, so uh, what I need to place here is uh, some kind of level transition uh, we need to have a stair so we need you know some kind of uh, level transition and I'm gonna just choose this one for good measure like this go to the one to the left let's see we are about here I think and um, one like this so now we have a level transition going from this place on to this place so if we start this again and walk over here you will see that now I come upon this level transition and it ex extends out of this uh, area if I walk here into it I'm on to the next level and you can see that I have on the map I have simply walked this corridor all the way here so uh, so when you are creating your mods or when you're creating your dungeon it would make sense to to have the coordinates set up correctly so that the player he will experience uh, this oh you know kind of open world you know like he goes seamlessly from one level to the next and if I go down from this level I'm on the left if I go down here I would create a new level and I would set the properties uh, to minus one and then go one down like this so so this level is now this is left down really it's a poor name for it I know <laughs> Uh, but y I hope hopefully you will get the idea that that you know that I go here and then I go down and just to just to give you the scope of this uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the one that we have here which is the right one no take the one here the down one and I'm s ah, let's just take it 16 floors down something like that and I'm gonna 
place a teleport here. This one. And I'm gonna have that teleport put me all the way here. One thing to know, now I took the level that was supposed to be right beneath this one and I placed it 16 down, meaning that this pit here has stopped working, so I'm gonna take it away. But this also demonstrates to you that the order of which these levels are, uh, it has nothing to do with the order of them in the game. Uh, it's it's the coordinates that that put the level into its correct position. So uh, what we are used to is th the order was just be you know ascending, like you know, if I go from this level down, I would go to this one and this one and it's not that in you know doesn't work that anymore so now we have this one here and if if I walk about here the minimap gets drawn and if I go to this one I will be teleported to a floor that is uh, 16 below me meaning I would have to click this button and I'm clicking it 16 times to go all the way back to the starting area so I have just jumped down 16 floors and uh, I think you're starting to appreciate the grandness of this and <laughs> and the, the scope of which your projects uh, can take and I think I can safely say that uh, we will probably run out of memory uh, long before we can uh, fill all these areas up so so the, uh, the level placement in, in, in in this game is, is huge and uh, one thing to notice also here is we have this yellow yellow lights over here and I can I can click them and, and I simply turn off those levels and for example if I would go now to the left teleport I have turned it off uh, I spawn into emptiness because I have turned th this level off it, it's just it's not getting calculated. It is not part of this you know, of my project anymore. Uh, I've been theorizing for what this actually is, and uh, the 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 only thing I can c come up with is uh, this can be good if you are uh, spotting some uh, performance issues or if you're trying to figure out if uh, something is slowing down your game and so forth. Uh, you can only have this level active and, and then I can simply turn it off and, and you know move the party to the next one or it can simply be that when we have you know like huge projects and it's you know it's putting a toll on the editor and it's putting a, a toll on the CPU power of the machine we can we can you know uh, get some CPU cycles back by by turning a level off and uh, it's a, it's it's my theory for now but maybe I'm completely wrong and, and then hopefully somebody somebody will uh, correct me so of course we need to turn this back all on again so this is the coordinate systems uh, they have to do with the minimap uh, this is the X axis, uh, this is x plus 1, this over here is x plus 2, this is y1, the one in front of us is y minus 1, and then we have the c-axis that which brings the whole thing down, and if you go minus on the c-axis that will uh, bring the whole thing up, so uh, yeah, so it's pretty obvious that we can uh, create huge 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 uh, mods for this game uh, yep coordinate system uh, in my next tutorial I'm going to fill this pit up with water so stay tuned for that